Dear students, this is a full wave rectifier circuit. And in this, we can simulate this rectifier circuit. See, you can run simulation. You will be getting the output waveform here like this. Okay. So, this is not the waveform. You will be getting the output waveform like this. Once again, you can simulate this. Just to run. You will get the waveform like this. You have to uh, separate. Uh, this is the full wave output. This is the input waveform. This is the half wave full wave rectified output waveform. And this is the positive half. Like that. See, you want to separate different waveforms for that here V negative half V positive half and V output will be there so let us see what is V, um, v positive half how will you get just plot add plot window click here trace add trace what you have to V positive see V positive let, let us search V positive we want v positive just search v of v positive yes this is v of v positive click here and ok so positive half cycle is appearing here next again you want to plot v negative uh, half cycle add plot window click here trace add trace v negative okay, this is v neg half ok so negative half is appearing there is some mistake the some of the positive side is appearing even though the plot is like this we are uh, once we are simulating that circuit we are getting the negative cycle like this we are obtaining a smaller portion of the positive cycle also we want to plot a, a full sine wave that is uh, full full rectified output that is uh, add plot to window click here trace add trace what is that v of v out v of v of v full what is the name we are giving it v of v out let us search we first we have to remember that output value that is v of v o ok so just to search for that v of v o v of v o ok so now complete a cycle is appearing if you if you don't want this you can just click here just click here you can delete this delete plot so different plots will be appearing like this ok so this is the way we can separate the different plots if all the plots coming into the same um, uh, graph then we can separate each of the plot like this ok that's all about this video thank you